Hello everybody and welcome back to Victoria where we are currently running a small deficit and hopefully that will go away. I think we might have been running a small surplus when we ended last time so we'll see. Also this political movement to enact private schools is very funny. It's going to continue happening for a while I have a feeling. And what's going to happen with this election? The conservative party has zero momentum. Okay. So that's very interesting. No doubt about it. And 59% momentum for the Liberal Party. That's good, but the Conservative Party has more votes, which is less good. Certainly less good. Let's take a quick look at the landowners. They're still at minus 20 here. They're very angry. And hopefully, hopefully, this will get a little bit better over time. That would be ideal. I mean, we're currently at minus 19 here. We remained at minus 20, so this is probably some sort of a rounding issue. But yeah, that looks fine for the moment. So we just finished up our iron mine, and now that that is done, we're working on this tooling workshop. So that seems good for now. 5.4% construction efficiency reduction in Lima seems okay. So we're going to get these gold mines done as soon as we can. An arms industry and an artillery founder foundry, I should say. And that all looks good. We'll get those done as soon as we can. Next up, in terms of military, what do we want to think about going for? Actually, minus momentum to the Liberal Party is not good. Okay, that's a bad outcome there, losing some momentum for the Liberal Party. It's maybe okay. And public schools got an advance. Okay. Enactment success chance, but minus 50% university throughput. Do we have a single university? We do, actually. We have five. So that is definitely noted. Hmm. We could just have it advanced by one phase, and I feel like that's what we want to do here. We're already on 54%. So let's just bump that straight up to drafting. That sounds good. Wonderful. So how long until that tooling workshop is done? 48 weeks. Okay, that is a lot. That is a lot. We don't have much magnanimity at this point, that's for sure. And the petite bourgeoisie still want those elected bureaucrats. It's probably not going to happen, for the record. 10% momentum to the Liberal Party, or 20% enactment success chance. I feel like we don't really need this. So we're going to take the momentum. Okay, that actually put the Liberal Party in the lead in the polls. We'll see how the actual election pans out. Fingers crossed. Landowners are no longer powerful. They're now influential instead of being powerful. So that's very good. They're down to 17.9% clout. That's really, really solid. If we take a look at this now, we can see that this is currently down to 18. They're still at 20. Does it cap at minus 20? I bet it does. I bet that's what we're experiencing here. Okay. Well, they're going to continue to be very upset about this. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. Uh, that'll take a while to get that dealt with. For the time being, that's okay. This election is happening now. So that's wonderful. The Liberal Party wins with 50.2% of the vote, and the Conservative Parties have 497 That is extremely contested. Let's take a look at our free government reform. 68? That is not bad. That is not bad at all. So that brings us up to a contested government. We're not up into legitimacy, unfortunately, but this is pretty decent. That's pretty decent indeed. 68 contested, I like it. We can definitely bring that up a little bit further in theory. So public schools are going to be done soon enough. We can see our literacy has been slowly creeping upward. Our GDP, not so great. This drop-off is due to the landowners just, like, refusing to pay us taxes. And, you know, that, that'll happen. That'll happen. We'll get that dealt with eventually. What we really need is these timed effects to go away. So if we go into their modifiers here, we can see that elite exclusion is going to be four years. Old order upset, four years. Outraged over golden law, four years. Okay. 
So it's going to be four years before all of these malices go away. That's fine. Public schools just progress to voting. All we need to do is fulfill one more role here and public schools will be in. That will be fantastic for us. We very much do want to be bringing up our literacy. We are still running a deficit at this time, but the tooling workshop should help with that. We do still need more iron, it looks like. So I'm going to move this iron mine up. We're going to put it probably in between or maybe after this gold mine. Still 5.4% construction efficiency over in Lima. Actually, Lima is within our subject. So if we were to build this within our subject, we have foreign investment ability there because they are our subject. So this should be completely fine. We should be able to just steal their gold, right? I'm pretty sure that's how that works. We'll find out, but that would be great. We would definitely love that. So they've got minus 10% state construction efficiency here because it's in the Andes and that's understood. So this is never going to get too much better than 5.3. There's probably some unrest here and there's some infrastructure issues as well. But that is all fine for the moment. We definitely need to work our way over to railroads and mechanical tools will be done in 39 to 42 months at this moment. Atmospheric engine will be done, how soon is that? 32 months. Okay, so mechanical tools will be shortly after that, and then we can grab railways. That's the idea there. That will help our market access situation significantly. Foreign underscore investment underscore rights underscore proposal underscore third underscore party underscore break underscore declined underscore description. That is definitely how that is supposed to read. That is not supposed to be a placeholder. <laughs> okay, so that's fine. That definitely should be fixed at some point, but it's probably not a major deal. So enacting public schools, does that pass here? Close. We got an advance. 15% enactment success chance, and that's fine. We'll take it. We'll go up to 65. That seems decent. Yeah, we have a 6% chance of a stall and 0% chance of a debate. So that sounds good. This private schools guy, he just keeps starting and getting rid of this radicalism here. That's definitely interesting. Okay, taking a look at that, that seems fine for now. We're pretty close to great power status, actually, which is interesting. We have a Man of Wars input goods shortage, which is mildly remarkable. We could certainly think about doing something with that. What we really need right now is to get our economy turned around so that we can expand our construction and get some faster building, because this is incredibly, incredibly slow. And we definitely need to get some work done there. No doubt about that. That said, once we get tools, we can, in theory, grab iron frame buildings, which is going to boost us up dramatically. Absolutely dramatically. But we do need tools and we do need iron to get that done. Out of curiosity, is it worth doing right now and deficit spending? Predicted average weekly balance is going to be about 4k lower. Let's do it. That'll allow us to construct much faster and respond to some of these issues. I think the deficit spending here is a good thing. So, do we want this prestige? Not everyone wants to be reminded of the Emperor. We have a, an iron input goods shortage that is understood. I'm going to move this iron mine up above the gold mine. A cause without a rebel. So, is that this guy? That is this guy. Okay, no one's following him anymore. We could exile him. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to do that. So, he's out of here. The private schools, it's not a thing. The Catholic Church wants to preserve no schools. Okay, we're not going to do that. The business of legislation, huh? Actually, let's take the five legitimacy. Cool. So that puts us up to 69 legitimacy, which I'm contractually obligated to claim is a nice amount of legitimacy, even though it actually isn't. We would really prefer to be at 76, but, you know, whatever. I guess it's fine. 
Once we're going to get this cooling workshop done, we now have access to public schools. That is providing us with 10% education access and 12% assimilation. Both of those are phenomenal. And yes, we're at minus 9k here. We're going to go negative pretty quick. That's understood. So at this point, what I want to do is I want to hop into our government here. So politics, institutions, and we can start working up our education access. So we'll get going on that. Do we want to bring up our law enforcement? I think not right now. I think for now, only bringing up our education would be good, but we can't go any further than this. That's fine. Is this just due to maximum level of two? Okay. Yeah, that's due to our technology. That is fine. Getting some amount of education access is indeed a good thing. So this is now nine weeks away from finishing. That looks solid. We have virtually doubled our, or not quite doubled, we've a little under doubled our overall construction speed. So that is good, but we are going to have to handle our finances, for sure. And yes, this the petite bourgeoisie are going to be very sad. Okay, so yeah, they're no longer giving us that extra bureaucracy. That's understood. Not a big problem. It is completely fine. What do we want to do for our next law change, by the way? We should figure that out. We're on agrarianism right now. We could go to like interventionism or laissez-faire. That would radicalize the rural folk. I don't know, agrarianism is probably relatively okay for the moment. We're on professional army and national guard and I think that's reasonable. We could go to elect bureaucrats like the petite bourgeoisie wanted. That is definitely a reasonable option. We're also on wealth voting right now. We could go down to, like, census suffrage. That would radicalize the landowners, and I think we should avoid that for the moment. We'll just need to give it some time, and they'll be willing to accept that. But for now, they're not into it. We're in racial segregation right now. And we could jump over to cultural exclusion. I think for the moment, I'm not going to change any citizenship laws until such a time as we have the Brazilian nation integrated. So for now, we don't need to do that. We're on free, or rather we're on censorship right now. Right of assembly would radicalize the landowners, which isn't surprising. Legal guardianship, I don't think we want to move off of for the moment. That 5% birth rate is pretty decent. The workforce ratio would be okay. But again, that would radicalize the landowners. So for now, no. I don't think we need any social security at this point either. That would also radicalize the landowners. So that doesn't need to be a thing. We're on migration controls. It's okay. And we're on local police force. The landowners don't want dedicated police force? Really? That surprises me. Okay. Well, I guess that's fine. So I think our only real option at this point is to go for elected bureaucrats. The intelligentsia oppose the change, of course, but they're plenty happy for right now. So let's get started on that. That will take some time. And we're going to go into debt here very shortly. We could consider raising taxes. We have the legitimacy for that at this point, and that will help matters for sure. So let's do that so that we have less problems for the moment. We will look to cut our taxes back down eventually because that is harming our legitimacy, but it doesn't bring us down a level here. Do we actually want to raise taxes a little higher? That would be minus an additional 10 legitimacy. No, we can't afford that. Okay, so we're going to sit here for now. We got the paddle steamer unlocked. That is understood. So mana wars are expensive. What we really need to deal with, though, is iron and tools. So we're going to get this tooling workshop done in three weeks. That will help matters significantly, but I'm not expecting it to fully fix matters here. And yeah, we can see that we are currently paying interest. That is understood. So that is definitely a little bit on the grim side, but let's get that tool completed. That actually brings us positive here. Okay, so let's leave it positive at least until we're... Okay, we're back to negative. Never mind. <laughs> we're going to continue to construct the iron mines in Bahia. So that must have temporarily calculated it as we don't have any constructions. That said, the stock exchange has been unlocked, giving us 10% mm, market access price impact. What will that do to our economy here? 2.2? Okay, that's not too bad. 
Corporate Charters is now spreading to us as well. Beautiful. So the Iron Mines are about 20 weeks away, and we're definitely going to be running a deficit for a little while here. We can see that our standard of living did come up, but then is starting to trail off a little bit again. That's probably due to our tax rise, which is not necessarily ideal, but it is currently required. So we had a law debate success here. That looks good. Up to 24% chance there now. Very solid. Our GDP is currently dipping, which is not surprising. The landowners are very angry. <laughs> they're very, very angry. However, they're down to minus 15 now. So that's definitely improving. It's by no means perfect. But three years on these, and that's going to be 23 in total. So that's going to be a huge change. And by the time that's done, their opposition of legacy slavery to slavery banned should be pretty much gone as well, I think. So that looks decent. Wonderful. We got to get these iron mines done. We do have a shortage of iron still. Or is it just expensive? No, there's an input goods shortage of iron. So tools are expensive, but there's not a shortage there. So we're going to get this iron mine done, and we'll see if that alleviates our shortage. That said, how much is this actually going to produce? It is currently producing 20. Okay. So let's take a look at our shortage here. It's significant. This iron mine is not going to solve the shortage entirely, I don't think. It'll be maybe kind of close. I don't actually know offhand what the shortage requirement is here to be, like, what the, the cap ratio is. But as you can see here, our price of iron is capped. So we're at a market balance of minus 283. It's going to be at 263. So... It's not going to be great. It's not going to be ideal. Hmm. 10% bureaucracy for reduction of enactment time and enactment success chance. Actually, I like keeping it good and cheap. Here we have to choose good, fast, or cheap. We get two. I want to do good and cheap. I don't care about having this be a little slower. This is fine. Cool. I just didn't want to give up the bureaucracy. So that sounds excellent. So the price of iron is obviously going to remain a problem. No doubt about that. Now here in Minas Gerais, what are we doing for the construction? Because I've noticed our construction speed has dropped a little bit. Okay, so we've got 10 here. I want to go into here, check in construction sectors, and we can just hover over these. Santa Cruz is a little low, but I think it's the infrastructure that might be causing our drop in efficiency or perhaps market access. One of those. I mean, it's kind of the same thing, but yeah, we definitely need to get railroads done. There's no doubt about that. We're 21 months away from the atmospheric engine and currently 14 to 21 weeks. No, 24 to 26 months away from mechanical tools. If we were researching it, Hmm. 19 to 58, huh? Mechanical tools might finish before Atmospheric Engine does. We'll keep an eye on that. Hey, we're positive. We finished up the construction of that mine, and that actually did produce enough to bring us positive briefly. Okay, that's that same thing as before. We had the construction appear as if it wasn't doing anything. Okay, so we're not actually positive. That's understood. 26 weeks on this gold mine, we should probably alternate in some iron mines here, kind of like this. And that'll be fine. How are we doing on our current credit? Okay, we've got a lot of debt building up here, and that's not shocking. <laughs> that is not shocking at all. But this gold mine will definitely help produce some minting here, and that would be great. We would love to get that online. The law debate has failed here. Okay, that's not the end of the world. And of course, we still have that iron input goods shortage, but our education investment has now gone up to two. I like it. We can definitely see our, lit lit our literacy starting to creep upwards, and that is fantastic. So we're going to be finishing a food industry in Minister A's eventually, but we're 19 weeks right now away from this gold mine. Okay. That is going to take a while. We have a lack of construction speed at this moment, no doubt about it, but our economy really can't support 
additional construction at this moment. So we really do need to be building our economy from bottom up. And by that, I mean from a resource focused perspective right now. We need to be reducing the prices of specific resources, in this case, iron. Iron is the primary thing we're concerned about at this moment. I would love it if we would see some private constructions coming in here. Um, where do we see our private construction queue? Okay, there's nothing in the private construction queue right now. So all of our construction is going to the government construction at this moment because there is no private construction. Noted. That's a good thing for us, actually. Do we want enforced segregation? Actually, I don't mind making the Catholic Church upset for five years. This is okay. This guy would be employed by Brazil? What does he do? He would not start or join a political movement if invited. Okay, so I don't think it matters. We might as well just have some industrialist opinion then. And then we've got falling in line here. The landowners have proposed support, support for the anti-British league to be a component of the official party platform. So then the Catholic church would join the anti-British league or their party platform would be rejected and they would lose 10% interest group political strength. Yes. Perfect. Landowners losing more political strength is good. They're still very, very angry, to be clear. They'll get over it eventually, but that's going to take some time. Minus 15.7k, this is because we are not currently pulling out of the construction queue, or rather the investment pool. Yeah, that's what's going on there. So we're currently waiting for funding to become available for a tooling workshop in Rio de Janeiro. That's a good thing. I think that's very, very good. It's going to be about three weeks before that gets started. The Rio de Janeiro Citizens Association is trying to endorse elected bureaucrats. And yeah, we should definitely do that. That sounds good. To greener grounds, huh? Thomas Gregson is out of here. The end of history? Plus 5% authority. Okay, cool. So we're currently two weeks away from finishing our gold mine in Lima. That's fine. And the funding for this tooling workshop will be available very, very shortly. Okay. So we're still running that iron shortage. No doubt about that. Cool. This number is going to change, but to what? 855? That's not bad, actually. We have started up construction of this tooling workshop. To be clear, that is good. Tools were expensive. I think they still are fairly expensive. So if we look at the actual tools here, and yeah, we can we can change some of our production methods as well, which would be good. Yeah, the price of tools is not terrible at this moment, but it is slightly elevated. So that's not a terrible thing to get done. This iron mine will be done currently in 18 weeks. That seems fine. That will definitely help bring Maybe it'll start to drop the price of iron. We still have a shortage, and I suspect we will for a while. Minus 199. Yeah. So that's going to drop down by another, like, 25 or 30 or something like that when we factor in the, the economy of scale bonuses and other bonuses. So that will definitely be an improvement here in 15 weeks. That is very good. We would like to start paying down this debt before our interest really starts building up. That would be ideal. But we do need to continue to work on things like this. So we can go to like dye workshops. That would just be a net gain for us. It will drive up the price of dye. That's understood. We can also go to craftsman sewing. That will not be a good thing for us. What about pot stills here? I mean, that's a slight improvement. Okay, we'll do it. And furniture manufactories, this is going to be more tools, but that's not going to change the price of tools very much. So we'll get that going. What about luxury furniture production? It's actually fine, but it will drive the price of furniture up. I think that's okay. We'll probably have private constructions building furniture manufactories. Our tooling workshops are on wrought iron tools. That seems correct. No automation to be done here as of now. So the arms industries are on muskets. That's okay for now. Our rice farms can be on fig orchards. That is a net negative, so we're going to be down here. And then this is a net positive, so that sounds okay. Do we want harvesting tools? Well, not for the moment. Probably once we get our tool production a little bit more online. 
Butchering tools, again, that's going to drive up the price of tools quite a lot. So for the moment, no. And we don't have any coal mines, so that's understood. Iron mines, these are fine for the moment. We're lacking technology on all of that. Urban centers, we could go to gas streetlights, but I really don't think we should. Coal is lacking at this moment. Universities, we could be on secular academia or clerical educators. Which clerical educators would technically be slightly better at this moment. We'll want to change that later, though. So do we want to have hardwood production? Not really. We're going to focus softwood production right now. Although there is a hardwood implicus shortage. Okay. So something like that. I would like to be on sawmills. That will cause some tooling issues. We don't have any whaling stations right now. Okay. So what do we have here? Urban, rural. Okay. So this was just all. So we just got through all of that. That looks good. So we're going to continue to tick forward here. We're at minus 1k right now. Okay. So we had a stall here. And we're probably just going to take a setback. That will be absolutely fine for right now. No problem there. We'll just get rid of it that way. So we've got 12 weeks until this iron mine finishes. I don't think the iron mine is going to pull us positive in our finances, but it'll get kind of close. And then the tooling workshop might pull us positive. Maybe. But we definitely need to continue to work on our supplies, specifically in the direction of iron. Minus 200 right now? Yeah, that, that needs to be worked on. So that is absolutely the focus for the moment. It is time to put a cut in here, though, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And there's mechanical tools unlocked, actually. Maybe we won't put a cut in just yet. Steel tools as a production method. I'm willing to bet that's actually a bunch of new production methods. Four, to be precise. Okay, let's hop over here real quick. So that's slaughterhouses. Yeah, that's negative right now. Eventually, that will be positive because we will get tool production online. Tooling workshops can go down to steel mills. Strangely, okay, that does take steel. Yeah, we don't have steel production right now. So that's not an option. Sulfite pulping is not a good option either. And precision tools does increase our tool requirement and our hardwood requirement a bit. This is kind of net neutral. I think for the moment, we're not going to do any of those. What we really need is to get some steel production online eventually. But in order to do that, we need to bring up our iron production and our tool production. So that is remaining the focus for right now. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Atala, Andy Magar, Ali Lee, Dark Horse, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Tommy Kintogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.